In letter from a Birmingham jail, King wrote, We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Can you comment on King's vision of an interconnected world, as well as what movements today can learn from this vision? I think the quote points to one of the uh, basic foundations of King's ideals. Um, I think that when you when we look at what has happened over the last few hundred years in terms of of the invention of the modern notion of human, uh, universal human rights, it really starts with a with an increasing sense of of empathy um, that uh, that people began to feel as they moved away from their um, limited surroundings, their, uh, you know, what King would call their, you know, the kind of their uh, connection with their community, their tribe, their race, um, and, and began to recognize that there were other people in the world that they should care about. I mean, we can trace that back to, in the Judeo-Christian tradition, to um, the Good Samaritan story. Yeah, which is is essentially a story about how we need to move beyond uh, the notion of th- that we only have a moral obligation to people of our own tribe. Um, the the Good Samaritan is a person from another tribe who helps uh, the the person in need along the highway, and and the point of the story when Jesus tells it is that people of his own tribe walked by. They didn't have that sense even for someone in their own group that that they needed to stop and help. But someone from another group was able to see that. And he's, and he's using the, that as a way of saying that says that our moral obligations are not something that emerge from our, our sense of belonging to a group a tribe or a race or a nation. Instead, it has to come out of a sense of obligation toward all humanity, all living things, really. And once it does, then we can change the world. And, and he's saying, in a, in a sense, that that is in our, in our long-term self-interest, mm. because the world is becoming more interconnected. The world, and, and we could see how um, that has played such a role in, in, in the development of human rights. I mean, you can't even have a c- concept of u- universal human rights unless you are essentially saying that there's a, a person on another continent that I might not even know, that of a different race, different religion, whatever, and yet I have a sense that um, that person's destiny affects me. Now we we talk about globalization, but we rarely we we talk about it mainly in economic terms. You know the economies of the world being interconnected. We are still in the early stages of trying to understand that in moral, empathetic terms. Um, that we are interconnected. That we have a relationship with with other people wherever they are in the world.